Welcome back to our live booth coverage from Velocity 2012. I'm joined now by Chair Steve Souders and John Allspaugh. Guys, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, great to be here. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That was an accident. Uh, so we're coming, we're coming, <laughs> was it? Girl. That didn't look like an accident. So first question for you guys, I mean, what themes are you picking up this year? If, you, if your jaw is okay to continue. Uh, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Excellent. I bounced right back. You did. No problems right. with resilience. that. You're resilient. Resilience is, uh, which, which is the theme. Is a good segue. I have the mic. So, um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, resilience is, is, is something I think that is, is, is certainly a, a, a theme. Um, it's showing up in, in presentations uh, across the board um, about monitoring, about uh, architecture, about organizational um, issues building in resiliency. The idea that we're not out to build these perfect systems, um, that uh, perfect, uh, we don't live in a perfect world. Um, I'm just, I was so excited to see Dr. Richard Cook mm -hmm. give, the, um, give, give a keynote and touched a lot on a lot of these things. These are um, uh, things that you, the things that he was saying um, feel intuitive. Oh, of course. And, you know, when we build in um, automation, which is another theme um, at the conference, uh, we build in automation that is excellent, but um, in order to, to really be effective, with it, you need to be able to introspect it. You need to be able to see what's going on underneath. The the idea that we're going to be able to build an abstraction layer and um, you know, in some sort of weird you know singularity, there's a black box that's going to build everything perfectly for you um, and leave you hanging high and dry when things go wrong. Um, that that's not a winning solution. So mm -hmm. accepting that that actually is reality, I think, is a theme that I'm, I'm, I'm that I'm seeing. Sure. sure, which I think is good. And actually, before, uh, I think before uh, Dr. Cook got up and talked, was Mike Britton before that? Yep. Yeah, and Mike's talk was about uh, resilient UIs. And that was kind of the theme, the motivation behind the tagline this year of building a faster and stronger web is we are getting um, more interdependent. Uh, on websites, on what we're doing on the back end, certainly what we're doing on the front end with more plugins, uh, and the, these interdependencies each have a probability of going down. If you know, you know, uh, if you remember your classes on probability, e even though each one of those has a very small probability of going down, maybe 0.01, when you multiply them all together, all of a sudden you have a 1% chance of going down on any given day. Mm -hmm. And so that's where we are now, building a faster and stronger web. Like all of us are having to raise our level of knowledge and techniques and skills so that we can handle what's you know, becoming a more complex and ever-growing problem about building something that is strong and safe and robust, even though the moving parts are constantly growing. So it's toward a graceful fail? Is that, yeah. is that really what yeah. the search yeah, is? Yeah, I think that um, uh, Jesse mentioned it really quickly um, uh, in his, in his uh, session today, in his keynote, um, when he said, well, you know, uh, availability, maybe availability actually isn't that easy of a metric. When you're gracefully degrading, and you've lost, you, you know, you, you have some sort of social um, site and you can't favorite something, did you have an outage? Hmm. There's a spectrum of outage, there's a spectrum of availability. Right. And when we live in a world where small failures or com component failures can be expected and we can degrade without, you know, we'll lose some functionality, but preserve uh, core functionality or preserve the majority of functionality, then all of a sudden um, we, we've got a big palette to choose from. Mm -hmm. Now, so you mentioned uh, Mike Britton, you mentioned Dr. Richard Cook, Jesse Robbins, other sessions that, that uh, really spoke to you? Mike Christian put it all out there today. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked with him at Yahoo, not, not closely, we crossed paths you know, six or seven years ago, and he brought it today, uh, talking up front, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, very uh, openly about outages at Yahoo, and also touched on some other ones, but kind of went into the backstories behind them, had a funny tile, uh, title, <laughs> uh, Frying Squirrels. Um, but I thought that was a really good one. Rouser, of course, always uh, delivers an amazing talk. Jesse, again, you know, today, we uh, explicitly picked him as the closing speaker of the conference, because we, you know, he's so, in, uh, you know, in a, such an important part of Velocity, and such an important motivator, evangelist for the community. Those were some that stood out for me. Um, yeah, I, all of the talks have been really excellent. Um, the 
over the, the last year versus this year, we had so many good submissions, so many incredible submissions. I'm, 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 I'm glad to have, have, have gotten the talks that we that that we had, um, but it seems like every year. Uh, it's it, it's it's harder and harder and harder to, to, to choose between the two. I'm see, I'm so glad that the conference is, is expanding. Mm -hmm. um, this is a first world problem sure. um, of having so many uh, so many practitioners who are willing to tell stories and give information and share. Um, Jay Parikh's talk uh, was yeah. quite good. You know, we're only we're we're in the afternoon break of the of, of the last day, and there's still there's still all kinds of sessions there. Um, uh, a bunch of uh, cultural uh, talks. I haven't been to the ones this morning because I've been in the other track. Mm -hmm. um, but I see, I see the reaction on Twitter um, and 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 hearing it from other attendees that uh, that they're awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. so last question I have for you guys. I know you got a you got a jet, but uh, we got the the Velocity Conference in London coming up, beginning of October. Yep. What can you tell us about that in advance? What are you seeing right now? Well, what. what uh, well, we haven't started, you know, getting through the proposals, um, and, you know, uh, full speed yet. Um, what I'd like to see is I, what I expect to see are some of the themes that we've seen here, sort of carried in uh, over into Europe as well. Um, something that we saw last year in, in Berlin um, was uh, just an excellent perspective. Sometimes we can be very uh, American centric, um, uh, especially since we have really large web companies. Amazon and Facebook and, and, and Google, even those are those are global companies. They are very much American in their roots, and so when we go to Europe, it's it's awesome and excellent to have a different perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm pretty excited to be be in London because it's a pretty ripe uh, startup culture there. Yeah, I think uh, Velocity Europe's really going to pop in London in October. Um, one thing that was really important in Berlin that we you know we got a. a new Velocity Europe program committee, different from U.S., and that's because we wanted to have it be a European conference. We did the same thing this year. We have a more, last year we had a more Berlin uh, uh, lo located um, program committee. Now we have more uh, people on the program committee from the U.K. and London, and um, we've already reached out to folks like uh, Leo Varou, Alex Russell. I guess Alex might not count. He's American, but he lives in London now. <laughs> Uh, but That's other, great. I can't, I don't have them on the tip of my tongue, but we've already reached out to uh, folks that we know, the leaders we know in the ops and performance space um, in uh, the UK, in London, in Europe, really trying, and we're going to bring, you know, folks, I think last year our, uh, it was about 70-30 Europe uh, versus outside of Europe, and we're, we want to, you know, try to hold to that and really mm -hmm. make it a European flavored conference. I'll mention uh, the dates are October 2, 3, 4, which are a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so that's one day long longer than last year. We added workshops. And um, the other thing I want to mention is like we're doing here, today's the last day here, but tomorrow we're doing the first ever WebPerf days, uh, kind of modeled after DevOps days. So it's an unconference, um, and we're going to do the same thing in London. So the oh, velocity is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday we're doing the second ever uh, WebPerf day. Stephen Thayer, who runs the meetup group, is going to organize that in London. And unfortunately, the DevOps days was already committed, but there's something that John's pulling together. Yep. To be uh, to be announced, but okay. uh, a very, very a very DevOps days, um, um, uh, you know, unconference after Velocity. Excellent. But, but if you're planning your travel, you know, plan on being there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Full week. Yeah. Yes. Full week. Excellent. Well, thanks, guys. So thanks so much for swinging by, and hope the rest of the show is great. Congratulations on a great show. Thanks, Mac. <laughs>